Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about three important concepts and that are response time, latency and throughput in performance testing. Okay. And we will understand these concepts with the help of a client server architecture. So uh, typically in a client server architecture, let's say this is a client. Client can be any user or a browser or anyone who is sending a request to a server. So let's say this is a client. Uh, let's call it client. And this is a server. Okay, so a client usually sends a request to a server. So asking for some resource, let's say a web page or any screen and server will particularly pro process that request and after the pro processing is successful the server will respond back to the client with a correct response okay so this thing like client sending a request to the server the server processing time and a response uh, back to the client the combination of all this thing is called the response time okay so response time is a combination of client sending a request to the server server processing time and the server response time so that is called the res uh, response time right and a uh, client sending a request to the server and client uh, like server sending a, re a response back to the client so this travel time is called the latency so let's say client sends a request to the server and it took around uh, one second so request is second uh, request is taking one second to reach to the server uh, server takes let's say two second to process that request okay so server is taking two seconds to process that request and after the processing uh, response is sent back and that takes around two second as well so in this case uh, one second plus two seconds is called the latency the travel time between client to server and server to client so in this case the latency is one second plus two second okay and the response time would be the travel time that is latency as well as the server processing time so in this case response time will be One second plus two second that is travel time plus two seconds of the server processing time okay so have this difference is clear to you so response time is nothing but the amount of time a request is sent to the server and this and the response which is back to the client and uh, it is also known as the round trip because a complete uh, round trip happens so response time is nothing but the latency plus the server processing time. So as we have seen in this example, uh, so this, is, this is a round trip, like client sending a request and uh, server sending a re response back to the client. So this is a total round trip. Uh, so the round trip time is called the response time. And the latency is nothing but the request travel time from client to server and server to client. So uh, client sending a request to the, uh, to the server in one second and uh, server sending back the response to client in two seconds so these two are latency okay uh, and it is also known as the network latency or the network delay in the performance testing terms okay so this is all the response time and latency now let's understand the concept called throughput so in an ideal world in a performance testing or in an ideal world uh, there will be multiple clients sending a request to the server right so let's say uh, there are multiple clients this is client 1 this is client 2 this is client 3 and there will be n number of land like uh, there will be client uh, 100 or something like that okay and they will all be sending a request to the server right so client 2 is sending a request client 3 is also sending a request and n number of clients sending a request to the server so server will be processing those requests so uh, the amount of request that server is processing per second is called the throughput so let's say server is receiving a response from all these clients 
and it is able to serve the four request per second like four uh, server is able to serve four request in one second okay so four request per second is nothing but the throughput so that is server processing time right i hope this uh, concept is clear so throughput is nothing but a number of transaction per unit of time an application can handle right so let's say a server is able to handle let's say a four request per second so in this case uh, throughput will be the four request per second and it, the throughput is generally denoted in request per second or the transactions per second or the hits per second etc so uh, since we uh, let's say a server is able to process more request per second so in that case the pro, uh, the server performance will be more so generally it is regarded that a uh, higher throughput will result in the good application performance so in your performance testing always try for a good throughput amount in your uh, in your application performance results